Good morning, students. So this video is for anybody who is absent on Monday, uh, first day back from Christmas break, January 3rd. Um, so that's when I'm making this recording. If you're watching at a different date than this, um, I might, you know, use it in the future and that's cool. Okay. But our new unit is protein synthesis. So there's a new blue folder on Schoology where you probably found this video. Um, I do have paper copies of these notes to fill in, but if you're watching the video from home, um, you can certainly get them off of Notability, um, but I have lots of paper copies in my room as well. Okay, I would recommend that you look at these pages in your textbook. Um, the pictures are really good, um, just to kind of help you get started with what RNA is. So it's a little different than DNA, and that's kind of part of the point of these notes today. So I recommend you look at these pages at some point. And then let's go through these notes. Um, we filled these out kind of together in class. I gave groups a little bit of time to work on them and stuff, and then we filled them out. But we're just going to do them really fast for this video. Uh, we also talked about the genetics test you took before Christmas break. Um, so remember, there's only two weeks of the quarter left. So if you have to make up that test or do a retake, we want to make sure that we do get that done in a timely manner. Okay, um, you do have to tutor with me a little bit and do some practice before I will let you do the retake. Okay, so here's our notes. Okay, now you can see on the paper I have underlined and kind of highlighted some stuff. Um, you are not turning these notes in, but um, you might be able to use them on a quiz later this week, so that's something to think about. Um, on the first page, the DNA and RNA um, are kind of color coded. That's not entirely required. If you'd like to pause the video and color code these, you can, um, but you don't have to. Okay, something I want you to notice in the DNA, we have our four bases we talked about um, in past chapters adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine, A's, T's, C's, and G's. Um, in the RNA, which is located on the right side here, there's a different base. Instead of the thiamine, we're going to use the base uracil, but the other three are the same. Okay. Another difference when I look at these two pictures, the DNA has two sides that match up in the middle. RNA only has one side. Okay, so those are just some quick things you get um, just from looking at those pictures. All right, so at the top of your page, this is called Central Dogma, and I underlined it here in the background or circled it. And what Central Dogma is, it's the main rule, the main thing that biology is built off of, okay? So biology is living things, so plants, bacteria, fungus. This is the central rule that connects everything together, okay? So it says the central dogma of biology explains that the order of the nucleotides in the DNA, so the order of the letters A, T, C, and G, so whatever comes first or second, those letters provide the blueprint or the set of directions we need to create something called messenger RNA. Okay, so, oops, get back out of there. Sorry about that, guys. So our DNA here, the order of these bases, is going to help us make this one-sided piece over here, this message. Okay, now the message is then going to move out of the nucleus, and we're going to use the message, we're going to translate it, and build a protein with it. And proteins are really important because it makes all of our body parts. So our muscles, bone, arteries, blood, it's all made of protein. Okay, so the order of these letters is what builds all of our body parts. That's the central dogma biology. Okay, and this is true for all living things. So all living things use these same letters and the same process to build the body parts. Now the letters for humans are in a different order than for a tree. That's why we look different. Okay, the order of the letters will tell us what to build. Okay, so that's what this whole week is going to be about. Okay, now at this point I had the students in class look at the picture 
and we also watched a video clip and they answered some questions and I'm just going to go through the answers and you can fill them in and listen. Okay. Um, there's a background piece. It says DNA and RNA are both molecules which are used for storage of genetic information and are assembled using nucleotides. Okay, remember nucleotides are our A's, T's, C's, and G's. Okay. DNA is always found in the nucleus of a cell and the RNA is able to travel from the nucleus out to the cytoplasm for building. Okay, now the way that my high school teacher taught us about this, he said the DNA is like a bunch of library books, okay? Um, you have all the information for every topic, okay? So DNA has all the information for building muscles and brains, organs, skin, blood, everything, okay? So let's say your body has a cut on a finger, okay? Well, we don't need the information for brains and kidneys and bones to fix a cut on a finger. We just need some skin cells. So the RNA is a copy of just the skin cell information. Okay. And then that copy can leave the nucleus and go to where we have to build those new cells. Okay. So like if I am doing a report, let's say I'm doing a book report and I need information about the artist Picasso. I could go to the library where there's books on every topic. I'm going to find the one page I need about Picasso. I'm going to copy that one page and take the copy with me home to do my project. Okay, so the DNA is like all the books in the library. And then we're going to make an RNA copy of just the one piece we need and take it where we need to go. Okay, so that's the main difference between DNA and RNA is their jobs. DNA stays safe in the nucleus and we can copy it over and over again and it's safe and stays the same. RNA we use one time and when we're done with that job we recycle it and get rid of it. All right so let's look at the questions here. Uh, question one bottom of the first page the four bases in DNA we learned this before adenine, thymine, cytosine, guanine or you can go A, T, C, and G for short. RNA has something a little different. RNA has A, C, and G, but instead of T, it uses U. Okay, so in number three, in RNA, the base uracil takes the place of the DNA base thymine. Okay, so we do want you to know those bases really well. Which ones are in DNA? Which ones are in RNA? And that the U's and the T's kind of switch out. Okay. We notice that DNA has two strands of information, but the RNA only has one strand of information. Or you can say side if you like. Two sides and one side. Okay. Um, your DNA comes from your parents, so that was in your egg and sperm that came together to make you. And that DNA has all the directions to build your entire body. Everything from eye color to hair color, wavy hair, tall, short, all of your organs, all of your bones, all the directions to build you. Okay, those directions are so important. They never leave the nucleus. They stay safe in the nucleus so they don't get damaged. Uh, number seven here, after RNA is used, it will be degraded or broken down and recycled in the cytoplasm. Um, and if we compare and contrast, so what's the same and what's different about the DNA and RNA, the DNA is kept safe for years and years, but the RNA, we use it one time and then we recycle it. Okay, the last question I'm not gonna give you the answer to, um, this first word here, infer, that's kind of like the word hypothesize. It's what you think. Oops, this says thing, it should be think. Um, but why do you think DNA is treated more crucial, so it's more protected, um, more energy is used to keep it safe than the RNA? Okay, so this is what you think. You need to write something here that you think. Um, I don't care if it's right or wrong. You can only get it wrong if you leave it blank. So you should pause the video and fill something in here. 
and then restart the video when you're ready. All right, now there's three types of RNA and I've got them all pictured here. And I'm actually gonna show you a little video clip. All right, so let's take a look at this video here, guys. So we have a cell here. It's gonna zoom into the nucleus and you'll see a bunch of other cell parts kind of along the way. But we are interested in the DNA in the nucleus. All right, so you have 46 chromosomes like this in your human body. And as you can see, it's coiled up really tight. And just one little piece of one section is called a gene. So this might be the gene for freckles. And if your body needs to make more freckles, your body's gonna copy this information out of your DNA and take it to a place where it's gonna build that. So that's what we're interested in, the process of copying this information so the original stays safe in the nucleus. All right, so we've kind of seen this before. We have a brown enzyme here that the DNA goes into. That enzyme is gonna break the two strands of DNA apart. And it's also gonna start matching up bases along one side. RNA only has one side, so we're gonna ignore the other side of the DNA. Um, A's match with T's, C's with G's. But notice the RNA is gonna use the letter U instead of the letter T, okay? Otherwise, it looks really similar to the DNA replication that we modeled before. So we're making a copy of one side of the DNA. And all those little letters, remember that comes from the food that you eat. We are not going to do that processing in high school. So it leaves the nucleus to go somewhere to build. Protein factories in the cytoplasm called ribosomes bind to the messenger RNA. Okay, so remember when we talked about cells, these ribosomes were just the tiny little dots that we made. And these ribosomes are actually made of RNA also. But instead of being a long strand, it's folded up into this complicated shape that we're going to use to help read the message. Okay, so we have the messenger RNA. This is actually ribosome RNA. And there's one more kind of RNA that's going to come to match up some letters. The ribosome reads the code in the messenger RNA to produce a chain made up of amino acids. There are 20 different types of amino acids. Transfer RNA molecules carry the amino acids to the ribosome. Okay, so this piece of RNA, it's called transfer RNA, and you can remember the T because it's kind of a T shape, and it has three letters at the bottom that's gonna match up to a piece of the message. And the whole message is gonna be matched up by these by three letters, and that will put the amino acids in the right order, okay? Because the amino acids are our building blocks. 
So if we're building a garage, we would need wood, concrete, nails, windows, um, shingles. Those are all the building blocks, just like these amino acids. And if we put the materials in a different order, we could use those same materials to build a garage or a dog house or a barn. Same thing here. By putting the amino acids in different orders, you can build bone or blood or muscles or skin. So we have to make sure that they're in the right order for whatever we're building. And the letters is what puts them in the right order. So this is a transfer RNA. And the amino acids are the monomers or the little pieces that build a protein. So let's see how that all works together. The messenger RNA is read three bases at a time. As each triplet is read, a transfer RNA delivers the corresponding amino acid. This is added to a growing chain of amino acids. Once the last amino acid has been added, the chain folds into a complex 3D shape to form the protein. So that folding there is really important. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, because if it folds in different shapes, that's going to give us um, some body parts that are hard or soft or squishy, like skin versus bone. Um, so the folding is a really important part, too, of putting all of this together. Okay, so let's go back to our worksheet. All right, so on the worksheet here, we've got our three types of RNA. Uh, the ribosome looks like our ribosome, our little dot, and it's all, you can see it's all folded up to make that shape. Our transfer RNA looks like the letter T, and it has the amino acid at the top. And then our messenger RNA is our long strand. Okay, so real quick here the one that looks like dna is the messenger rna because it's not folded in a special shape it's just left open as a string um, for our picture here you can go ahead and draw a picture for number 10. you can kind of copy this if you want to just make it straight with the letters on one side and then we have the jobs here um, the one that carries the amino acids to make proteins is the transfer RNA. The location of building is going to be the ribosomes. And then the messenger RNA is the one that carries the infill. So we want you to know what the jobs of these three are and what they look like. Okay. Um, now, the word transcription, you saw this in the video, that's a verb. And it's making a piece of RNA. So you start with a DNA that has two sides. We're going to use this enzyme, RNA polymerase, to open up the two sides of DNA. We'll match bases with one side to build the blue RNA here. And then when that's built, it's going to leave the nucleus and go to where we have to do our building. Okay. So all of this picture has to happen in the nucleus because the DNA cannot leave. Um, our order of our steps here is 3, 1, 2. So first the RNA polymerase opens the DNA, then we build that single strand, and lastly that single strand will leave the nucleus. Okay, uh, question 14 here. The DNA cannot leave the nucleus, that's why we have to have the message to take the information out. And then the last one is just practice matching letters. So you should try that on your own and then check your answers. Okay. The, so these notes we went over in class on Monday. Um, we watched the video clip. We also watched another video clip. Um, it was the Amoeba Sisters comparing DNA and RNA. So I recommend if you miss class on Monday that you go back and do that as well. Plan for the week, Tuesday and Thursday, we're going to use the lab kits. Um, in between on Wednesday, we'll take more notes for kind of the next step of um, what happens with the transfer RNA and kind of draw that in the notes as well. Okay, so that's the plan. Uh, hopefully you will be able to make as much class as possible. Um, but if you're absent, um, be watching for videos. It is the end of the quarter, so you want to stay on top of your work as best you can. Have a great day, guys.